Hello, Tim's RV Tips here. I haven't produced the video in a while, but I hope you watch this one. I'm building a sprinter van, a camper van build, and I'm putting in a 96 volt Tesla Model 3 module for the power supply. And uh, uh, that, with that capability, it gives me many things. I have 220 volts, 120 volts, and uh, what I'm going to be showing you is, is how a Tesla Model 3 uh, can be managed with a battery management system as well as uh, some of the power systems that will be going in. And I welcome your feedback uh, over the months of work that's uh, required here. So here we this go. This is a Tesla Model 3 battery module. It's about six foot four long, maybe a little longer with the wood on it. What I'm going to share with you is uh, the pinouts of the battery management system here go from zero to 25, uh, 25 cells and it, it totals uh, 96 volts. So what I'm gonna, and this is the positive lead here, and the negative lead is on the other side. I'm gonna be hooking that up to a Orion uh, BMS. It's called the Orion BMS-2, and that is a, a modern uh, battery management system. I have the uh, voltage wiring harnesses, the thermal and current harness, as well as the uh, uh, cell taps. Uh, I'll get to that later. This is the 96 uh, volt to uh, 12 volt DC to DC converter. The remote monitoring, uh, the Wi-Fi remote monitoring, as well as CAN bus. And we're going to interface it to J1772. Uh, the BMS2 has that capability. I'm going to show you how we're hooking it up to an RV plug through a, uh, a wire reel from Glen Denning. A 6.6 .6 kilowatt Elcon uh, charger for the battery uh, battery pack. It can be charged via uh, shore power or uh, EV power, any EV charging I'm station. I'm also making a custom AC and DC uh, switch and control box. There's going to be two 6 kilowatt inverters, one for 220 and one for uh, 120, and that will run the various systems in the RV. This is a 96 volt solar charger from Make Sky Blue. I bought it from Alibaba. Uh, it was supposed to be Wi-Fi enabled, but it came not. So I had a dispute with uh, the, the vendor, but uh, it should do the job in charging the batteries. This is the physical layout of the system underneath the couch. And the couches have about uh, a foot underneath the couch. And these um, demarcations are three inches a piece. So I have uh, over six foot available. This is the voltage tap harness. Uh, they're color-coded, uh, orange, red, and yellow, as you can see here. So this is the Orion cell tap harness, uh, and I've done a schematic of it interfacing with the Tesla Model 3 battery module. Uh, the issue you have is that they're put in groups. So there's three groups, and I have eight uh, connections in one group, eight in another, and then uh, nine connections in the yellow group, as shown here on the schematic. Uh, that's just the way Orion uh, arranges their cell taps. This is the schematic of the system, uh, minus the solar and a couple other things. But I got the uh, EV charge uh, system on the left, upper left, where I can uh, you know, identify an EV charge station and charge at up to 6.6 .6 kilowatts. And the lower part is the EV, uh, is, sorry, is the RV power. Uh, just, you know, shore power or granny power, 120 volts through 220. And I have logic and relays that detect 220 volts and will enable, you know, full charging at that rate. Uh, so there's uh, many hours. I could spend hours talking about this, but I won't for this video, but I'll get into it in further videos. And I thank you for watching uh, as I progress here through the spring of 2020. Thanks for listening and subscribe.